Howdy there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your little RV specialist. Started by our mom and dad in 1976, we are proud to be a second-generation family-owned and operated business. My friends call me Luke, my sisters call me Charlie, and my 23 nieces and nephews call me Lukey Poo. But you can call me anytime at 440-OHIO-RVs. A member of our growing team would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. Follow that link to see pricing and more information. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full-service dealer offering warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 440-OHIO-RVs. Again, that's 440-OHIO-RVS. For sale today, we have a 2011 Pleasure Way Lexor TS with 97,479 miles. Alrighty, folks, here we are inside of this 2011 Pleasure Way Lexor TS. As usual, I'm going to start in the front, work my way towards the rear. I'm going to do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this unit. Got 72 inches of headroom here in the main part of the coach. Fantastic fan. The center is going to act like an attic fan at night, cool you down by bringing the outside air in through the windows. This is going to run on our coach battery system. We have our air conditioner here in the back. That's a Cool Cat AC and heat pump. It's operated via the thermostat that's right around the corner here. We also have a propane furnace in this motorhome right here. We have a fire extinguisher, nice, easily accessible entryway. This window opens, but it does not have a screen. Got the curtain there for privacy. A little bit of wrinkling here on this material. Storage rails up here in the front. Got our levels test here. These are notoriously finicky, so don't always trust these. Water pump on off. This will pump the water out of the fresh water tank to your sink, shower, or toilet. We've got our generator start stop switch. This has 70 hours that runs on gasoline. We'll stop running around a quarter tank, so you cannot strand yourself. This runs on the same tank as the engine. We've got our water heater start stop switch that will ignite itself. We've got a light switch here. We've got AC power here on the side of the kitchen cabinets. You can plug in your coffee pot, whatever you need there. A little rail to help you get up and in. We've got some more light switches. Solid surface countertops, two burner propane cooktop, stainless sink, got a stainless backsplash, storage cabinets here above the kitchen area. I'm gonna switch you around now to the driver's side and come back towards the front a little bit here. We'll check out the wardrobe closet. Our manual's there in the bag and a table. This is our bathroom. Not much of a step up and in. So this is easily accessible. We have an actual porcelain stool. And a window here does not open. Just going to get you some light in here. Nice mirror for getting ready. Storage rail there for all your bathroom goodies. You can pull the curtain around the track here to help contain the water. Hang your towel there. Got another little storage rail there for your soaps or whatever, but everything's going to drain here right into the floor. Mirror here on the outside of the bathroom. Microwave oven. So run on the shore power or the generator only. Storage beneath the sink. Two drawers here below. Got our fuse panel down here by the floor. It's going to have our AC breakers and our DC fuses. Got some of our power connections here. This is our coach battery disconnect here. So we can, when you can pull that red key out, Means the coach battery is disconnected. It's going to prevent parasitic draw while you're storing this. It's also going to disconnect the charging systems, which are the shore power plug-in, the generator, or the alternator while you drive. Got access to the storage beneath the couch here in the rear. Got a light switch here. Switch for the power sofa. So this will go up and down with the push of a button. We're going to show you that here in just a little bit. Thermostat here. It's going to function much like the one in your house. Storage up top. Screened windows on the lower portion of each side here in the back. This window opens. This one has a screw in the mechanism. You probably pop that out there and be able to have that one open as well. But you do not have screens in the back windows. Got curtains all around so you can get that privacy that you need when you're parked. I'm going to go ahead and drop some pictures here now so you can see what this bed looks like made up and get some measurements. If left in the upright position, the couch base measures approximately 19 inches north, south, or front to back and 70 inches east, west, or side to side. If used in the twin bed style setup, the rear beds measure approximately 72 inches north, south, or front to back, and 24 inches east, west, or side to side on the driver's side, and just a little shorter at 67 inches long on the passenger side. 
If you make up the big bed in the back, it will measure approximately 67 to 72 inches north, south, or front to back, and 70 inches east, west, or side to side. How does a turkey travel? By gravy train. Got hard surface flooring throughout. Going to make it easier to keep clean in here. Counter flip out for more counter space. With an AC outlet tucked there. Also one down here by the floor. We have our TV here with a DVD player. You can unlatch this here. Swivel this out to face the front. Both of the front seats can swivel around to face the back. However, your driver's seat's not going to get a very good position due to the steering wheel and the cabinet behind it. But you can watch TV from up front to create two different zones here in this motorhome. We've got some cabinet space here behind with a DC connection here for like a cigarette outlet type thing where you can plug that in there. Got AC plug-ins. We also have an inverter that's inverting the coach battery DC power to AC power so it can run this TV while you're driving or boondocking. We have a switch here on the cabinet that's gonna kill the power here to the TV. Got windows up front here that you can have to let light in or also block those off for more privacy. Nice pleasure way here. Not usual having the enclosed wet bath here on a Lexor, which is a straight body van. This does not have the bump outs on the side like you'd see in the Pleasure Way Excels of this era or the Road Trek 210. So nice having that wet bath, which many people prefer. Not everyone. I'm going to call this one an 8.5 out of 10. Check this out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV Brothers. Up here in the cabin area, we have power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt cruise, CD player with Bluetooth connectivity, Sirius XM ready. These are seat covers here. The actual leather material is more of a creamy color, a creamy tan. Looks nice beneath those. Got a glove box here for storage. We have vinyl flooring up front. Again, makes that easier to keep this clean. Not seeing any signs of smoking in here, so I'm going to call this one a non-smoker. Storage rail up top here. Tuck your sunglasses while you're driving. Also got a privacy curtain you can pull all the way around the front here while you are parked. Alrighty, folks, we're going to go around the outside of this 2011 Pleasure Way Lexor TS. This RV measures 20 feet, 6 inches bumper to bumper with an 11-foot manual awning. This motorhome is built on a Chevy Express 3500 chassis with a 6-liter V8 engine with 97,479 miles. Got a nice looking exterior on this one. Little mark there on the door. Nice and easy to step up into the motorhome. At the back of our refrigerator, two AC plug-ins so you can plug things in out here beneath the awning. We have our coach battery here. Our engine exhaust and our generator exhaust. These little clevises here are for the awning legs that are in the awning itself. I prefer to run those directly to the ground. We've got our AC out here. It's gonna exhaust what it needs to there. This is a backup camera. Awning center rafter and crank are here. Got some storage beneath the sofa in the rear. You can also access that from inside the coach through that door. Propane tank is mounted to the RV, so you have to drive this somewhere to have that filled. Got a little rash there from where this door is rubbing that. We have a tow package for bike racks, stowaway trunk, or towing something along with you for your adventure. Spare tires here on the rear door. Back of our water heater. Sewer hose storage, these are difficult to use. They usually don't get used. City water in, the water hose coming in will provide the pressure. Got a cable TV in. This is for our 30 amp shore power connection. So you see I have this plugged in here. So we're now charging the coach batteries. Outside shower, this is nice for keeping the mess out of the RV. Fill for the fuel that runs the engine and the generator. Generator will stop running around a quarter tank so you cannot strand yourself. Fresh water tank fill. This is for the water that will travel wherever the RV goes. You have to use the water pump inside to pump the water to your sink, shower, or toilet. Got a furnace exhaust there, storage compartment. Got our sewer drain here, gonna do the black first and then the gray, everything's gonna come out of the same hole here. Good looking exterior on this pleasure way. 
Lots of shine left. Check this motorhome out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV Brothers.